Lucid Stead is really a collaboration with a 70-year-old existing homesteader shack that was here on my property in Joshua Tree, California. The wood siding that you see is the original wood siding. The dimensions of the openings have not been changed. The cracks and the broken wood and the nails that are within it are all part of that existing structure that you might say has taken 70 years to get to this point today. By day, it's a mirrored structure that reflects the desert. By night, it's a projected light installation where LED lighting creates fields of color that are slowly moving through the color wheel. This project is about tapping into the desert, into uh, the pace of change, and is about uh, responding to the quiet of the place. And ultimately, in that quiet, the project begins to unfold. It's really about kind of four ideas, um, and that is light and shadow, reflected light, projected light, and change. The light and shadow is about the interaction with the sun and that the project varies dramatically from sunrise to 9 a.m. to noon to 3 to dusk and into the evening. At dusk, there's the reflection of the sunset within it while the, the windows and the doorway are slowly shifting through uh, the color wheel. The reflected light is within the mirrors itself, reflecting the desert around it, using the desert really as material and medium and placing it onto the side of the shack. The projected light is at night and uh, the it sort of comes from the inside out where lights on the interior begin to reveal the structure of the shack, the two by fours, the diagonal bracing, sort of as uh, lit lines wrapping around the structure. Yet within it are the four windows in the doorway as pure fields of color that are set at just the right pace of change that you're not entirely aware that they're changing. You might see red, blue, and yellow, look down, move 10 feet, and realize that now it's purple, orange, and green. So the project really is about slowing down and coming to the desert to tap into that pace of change and about stopping and being quiet so that you can truly see and listen. <laughs>